between yesterday and the day before that, I think the offense uh, kind of slowed down a little bit. I think uh, I think today was a step forward. I thought the offense came uh, came out and, and practiced well. I thought uh, it went back and forth between offense and defense. It was a good thing to see. You never want to see one side dominating practice. And uh, I thought both made plays. And uh, we're getting better for sure. And uh, you know these are the, these are the dog days right now. I mean this is the toughest week for us, especially uh, between Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, you know, there's not really light at the, the end of the tunnel yet. Next week we got a game at least, so uh, we're grinding through it right now. We're getting better, and and uh, everyone's growing, and, and it looks good. So, you talk a little bit about the difference between this year's camp and last year's camp. Uh, uh, I mean, there's there's no comparison whatsoever. Uh, huge difference. I mean, last year, you know, personally, not knowing really any of my teammates, not knowing the playbook that well. I mean, I had the playbook, but uh, you know, not being able to hear it out of Coach Musgrave's mouth and, and really understand it and not knowing my surroundings that well and, and the staff. And, and now, you know, I know everybody. I've got great relationships between the players and the coaches and, and the rest of the staff. And you know, I know Mankato. I know the experience. Um, you know, I, know, I know how the game goes, you know, playing in, in uh, the games I played in last year. And it's a world of difference. And I just feel so much more comfortable. And, and you can tell everyone feels so much more comfortable and confident in what they're doing. How much, of, how much of a difference does it make, you know, coming into last year, you kind of knew with McNabb coming in that where, where you were going to start the yeah. year, and, but how, how much of a difference does it make coming into this year, knowing that you're the, the guy to start? Big, big difference. It, it just gives you so much more confidence. It, it's, you know, I, I feel so much more comfortable in that position where I, I can lead, I can step up and be that guy, and uh, this is my team, and um, yeah, I, I just, I'm able to, to, to perform so much better, be more, so much more comfortable knowing that. And, and knowing the situation I'm going to be in and how I'm going to be playing and I can prepare that way. and um, You know, it's, it's a good feeling. Could you talk about the passing scrimmage coming up on, on Saturday, the chance to kind of go out Yeah, there? We're, we're excited about that. I mean, when we can get into some live game situations like that, uh, we're excited. And uh, it's going to be a night game, so it'll be a little cooler. So that'll be nice and, and get to get out in front of all the fans that will be out here. And, uh, we're definitely excited for it. Uh, week to go before the first preseason game. Yeah. Where, where do you see? I mean, obviously it's still preseason. But where do you see that you guys still have to? I mean, there's improvements everywhere we can make. Um, you know, between uh, all the situations that we work on in practice, uh, the blitz pickups. Um, you know, I mean, every play can, can be performed better than, than we perform it, and uh, so there's always things we can work on. And, and we just want to go out in, the, in that first 49ers game and and uh, you know play well. And we want to start on the right foot in that preseason game. And, uh, and, and do some good things on film and be able to watch it and, and keep learning from those situations. There was one guy, you had to pick one guy that's turned your head the most in camp, any position, who would you Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, there's been several guys, especially on the offensive side, between uh, guys that really stepped up, Matt Khalil, uh, Kyle Rudolph, Jerome Simpson, and, and Percy are really guys that stick out to me. I think they've all shown up, uh, been prepared for camp or, or performing and making plays. And, and Matt's holding his own against Jared and, and doing well. Kyle's made plays all camp. He's gotten open. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's been great to have Jerome here. Um, yeah, I think he's pushing Percy a little bit. I think Percy's kind of gotten a lot better. Um, and, and, you know, they're, they're almost like a competition between who's the better receiver right now. And, uh, and, and I've, I've seen them in a relationship. I mean, they've got a great relationship between each other. They're hanging out off the field. But um, they both look good. They're both getting better. And, and it's making me excited. So. Very diplomatic. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Christian, do you think about percentages? I, I want to complete 60% of my passes. Or do you get in trouble when you start looking at numbers? Uh, you know, I mean, I, I think you got to look at it. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to be more efficient than I did last year. I mean, 54 percent or whatever it was isn't efficient enough. Um, I don't know if there's a certain number that you try to achieve. I mean, you want to complete 100 percent of your balls, but um, you know, I don't know. I think uh, you know, a number like we're, we're looking for is to complete 75 percent of, of balls on first and second down, and you know, that's something that we want to do. But I think anything above 60 um, would be good. So.